welcome back to yet another best smartphone guide video so today we will be looking at top 5 best smartphones under 40,000 Indian rupees so without wasting any more time let's check out the first one but wait Samsung just launched the A73 5G at 44,499 Indian rupees so make sure to watch this video till then to find out how you can buy one for just 39,000 rupees yes just launched phone and with an awesome deal that gives you for just 39,000 rupees but there are better phones in some aspects at lesser price so let's look at those first now the first one in the list is from realme it's the realme GT Neo 3. You can get this one for as low as 33,999. Now check the description for details and latest updated pricing. Now this one features 8GB RAM, 128GB storage. It also comes with MediaTek Dimensity 8100 processor which has proven to be fast enough for multitasking. Now this also has 6.7 inches huge Full HD Plus 120Hz AMOLED screen. Triple camera setup which is great. Again a 16 megapixel for the front camera that is to capture beautiful selfies. It also has huge 5000 mAh battery and the star feature of this mobile being 150 watts fast charging. Now this is the world's fastest 150 watts charging. It just takes 5 minutes to charge 50%. That's insane and it also is a decent phone if you travel more and if you need a phone for playing games. Otherwise, the number 2 smartphone in the list is from Oppo. Oh yes, Oppo has gotten better and better especially in terms of camera performance. Priced at just around 34,799, it has world's first Sony IMX709 sensor that produces great image quality, a MediaTek Diamond City 1200 Max processor which offers fantastic overall performance as well. Now it also comes with 6.5 inches Full HD Plus AMOLED display with 90Hz refresh rate. It also has 12GB RAM which is absolutely amazing for the price and it also comes with plenty of storage that is 256GB and also has 65 watts fast charging which is decent enough. Now this one is a great camera phone if you are looking to buy one. Next up is from OnePlus. Hmm. So I wouldn't recommend buying a OnePlus phone if it is above 40,000 rupees, especially not worth these days since the Oxygen OS implementation is going the wrong way and not impressive in terms of camera either. So if anything above 40,000 rupees, do not buy OnePlus. But here's a deal that's going on right now if you are a OnePlus fan. So the OnePlus 10R is good since it's available just for Rs 38,999. It comes with 6.7 inches 120Hz display, Diamond City 8100 Max processor, triple camera setup. Although only main camera is good, it also has ultra fast 80 watts charging, looks quite unique as well and also has a good 16 megapixel selfie camera. So yes, if you are a OnePlus fan, then 10R would be a nice pick. Another superb phone for the price right now is the IQ009, not the 9 SE, but 9 itself. This one's really doing well in terms of everything a phone has to offer and especially since it's from vivo vivo sibling you can say so it's currently going on on a limited deal just for 39,000 rupees it's a best performer out there at this price range so it comes with snapdragon triple eight plus chipset 120 watts fast charging again a brilliant fast charger here 8 gb ram 128 gb storage triple camera setup which is decent and it also has a gimbal camera system for stabilization and works well too now it comes with 120 hz 10-bit amoled display which is gorgeous dual stereo speakers although guys i have seen some people complaining about the poor battery life for this iq phone but it has fast charging to cope up that and hence this is a great for anyone looking an all-rounded phone sure it's not perfect but a good value for many phone if you don't like the iq009 just check out the xiaomi 11 t pro it's a safe bet there again a great phone if you are a xiaomi fan now here's the samsung phone that i talked earlier just launched and it's great so the samsung a73 comes with 6.7 inches full hd plus amoled plus display and with uh, 800 nits of brightness which is nice quad camera setup and a 32 megapixel f2.2 selfie camera and really the samsung has been doing great especially in terms of user interface especially with the one touch ui so the user experience is great and the phone is fast so that's a very nice combo there the only area it's lagging with competition is the chipset since it uses a snapdragon 778 instead of 800 series but it is fast enough so that's why i have uh, recommended this one it is also ip67 rated and is water and dust resistant so just click on the link below use the icici bank card while doing a checkout and you will get instant 3000 rupees discount and you can buy it for rupees 39000 which is amazing for the price a great samsung phone for the price so these were my pick for the budget of 40000 rupees which one are you going to buy let me know in the comment section down below and hit that like button if this was helpful subscribe if you are new and as always guys i will see you all in another one till then take care everyone bye bye